As the teachings of his master flooded his mind, Teku opened his eyes. In front of him he saw all the stars in the firmament. Suddenly he heard a fire crackling nearby. The last thing he remembered were the voices of alarm. His home was being attacked. Then he staggered to his feet. There was no time to lose. couldn't go on. It was too dark. told Teku what happened. The tribe of the Wapcha had attacked the village and captured prisoners. One of them was Yaka, the tribe's shaman. He had to do something. Before going into the forest, wake up, Teku. Come on. I only recently realized that this solution came from the back of the toad. Total news to me.
such a warrior. But unfortunately, there was no trace of the shaman. It's possible that the main group had gone on ahead. He had to be careful. They were very dangerous. Just snoring does sound very dangerous. Stuffy at that knees, it definitely messed up my thinking all bit. I felt it when I died. <laughs> and I'm, I'm back and I'm ready for this run.
Went in just the right spot to get my fire back. Thank you. 
<laughs> Not the bees. Like, I've played enough Odd World to know that this is a problem. Fine. I I just think the forest is cursed. Or it, it very much doesn't like me. Even when I come up with ways to save time, it always seems like <laughs> gets slapped around in this section. I'm almost out of it though. I definitely know of a couple ways I could save time compared to my first attempt. Just leaving that coin here for my return trip, I think, saved a fair bit of time. Underneath the corpulent Toad King was one of the coins Teku needed to use the boat.
I really like that puzzle. I kind of wish there were like a few more rounds of it. I thought I was gonna drop off the edge there, but what I did know is that they could yoink me up like that. I really thought the um, the swamp was gonna have more missable torches, but there's only three of them. Mocha, welcome in. I'm doing great. Hope you are too. I just finished the first area. The second area is a lot more relaxed. You came in at a good time. <laughs> the first area and the third area have a lot of like confusing puzzles. Now Teku only had to find the second area is kind of just finding a bunch of stuff and figuring out what it goes for. Who gave the last coin to the old lady?
waiting on the dock until Teku decided to leave. It's that time, let's go. One sec. I almost forgot about that save skip. I wish I could disable that. It's alright though. I appreciate the work, Shmoko. The strange insect turned to Teku. Do your mega walk? Is that like a mega pint, but for walking? I think I understand. Sort of. I wonder if this soundtrack is on Spotify, it's so good. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, I know my units of measurement. And 
my pop culture references. This song is a big part of why I like this area so much. I also don't have to think too much. Although I, I'm already forgetting something. Whoopsie. We're gonna have to go back down that hole. Yeah, I'm a little all over the place here, but there's things I can do while I'm down here. It's because I'm like, yeah, it's not confusing. Proceeds to get confused about a couple of things. Sorry to hear that. Definitely sounds like you should relax a little. Alright. One thing I forgot to do is talk to the ape mother. There's also a little something something down here for me. to wait for either of the apes this time though. Recognize your name. Nice. I'm going for the 100% right now. I'm glad you popped in actually. I was going to message you or whoever ended up verifying my run. I feel like the 100% run rules could be a little queerer. So I rid up a bit of, uh. Sort of like a. Sort of looking for an amendment to them, if you will. Like, for the um, revealing all hints, I feel like it'd be easier to just explain which hints are missable. The mother monkey of the tail tackle climb up to the treetops. Like, looking at the painting in this cave coming up, looking at the toad wall, the painting in Act 1. That kind of thing. I'm also counting out how many torches are missable. Do you happen to know how many are in this area? I think I miscounted the first time. There should be 11 that can become blue.
<laughs> I'm really glad he still caught that. Ah, uh, good old taco here. <laughs> I know it's taco, but it's taco to me. If I'm the donut, he has to be taco. It only makes sense. Mushroom, plant the seed. Then I gotta make the fire. Fair enough. I'll figure it out. No, I need to light that thing out. It wouldn't really matter too much anyway. I already interacted with that. I'm gonna have to climb that ladder again. They waited until the rainwater soaked the strange seed. Suddenly, the ground started to vibrate. Now, another one of the things I put in, which I feel like kind of happened automatically, though is to make sure a sequence happens on the udders on the ceiling. But I noticed just like going over there to mess with the soil that happened. So that might be a little redundant. Alright, the worst series of jumps in the game, let's go. I jumped too early. I, I hyped them up too much, that's why. Is it gonna load me in with the same, like, steam? That'd be nice, if it didn't. Oh, kind of. Maybe I was just a little quicker that time. Too far along. Plus, yeah, I do just want a PB just for the board sake. One of my friends was asking me like why I mostly like to speedrun, and uh, I just feel it's good to progress in a game and to have like an idea where you started in a game basically like when I first played this game I did have to look a couple things up not gonna lie but trying to refrain from looking stuff up I beat it in like six hours so I feel like an hour 39 is a pretty massive jump when I look at it that way nice Gotcha. I almost forgot that he jumps over it. That scares the shit out of me. Alright. Oh, interesting. Nobody has run it since then? Very strange. It was well, as somebody who has bought the game post-launch, the quality has been assured. I really appreciate this game's soundtrack. I think this region in particular, 
But I also really like the last area of the game. Like the very last like temple song. Probably could have already been on the wall, but paranoia. Have you ever played the game Oddworld? It's a series, really, but the first two Oddworlds in particular for the PS1, I feel this game has a very, like, shocking parallel to. I could make a whole Venn diagram about it. For instance, they both seem to take place on alien worlds, yet feature bees. Both of their protagonists shrug when they don't know what the player wants from them. They both have enemies that laugh at their deaths. <laughs> they both have a mount. I'm sure there's a couple other things I'm missing, but that's pretty much the gist of it. They're also very like, I don't want to say like, colorful. Oddworld isn't as colorful. They're very like, uniquely designed in the color sense. I feel like for Oddworld's take on it, it's more of like grittiness for the PS1 era. Alright, I got the pill. Yeah, okay. Alright, um, so I just gotta get the pearl. Break it up. To get the ceiling milk. I guess one of the things. I'm gonna just take a peek at this. They make you pick it up, basically. I guess that's technically a missable hint as well, right? Oh, don't do this, Clam. Don't do this. I'm gonna die here waiting for this, Clam. I always forget that sprint dives. <laughs> I, I really hate jumping from a standstill like that. Okay, wait. Break this for me? Please and thank you. Without asking for anything in return, that troubled man had ground up the pearl in his mortar. We all think the painter's being nice, but in his mind, he's like, Nice, I got white paint for free. Stonks. Alright, um, yeah, ceiling milk. And then I got everything already. Wait, wait, pay rock thing. Patience definitely is not my friend for a lot of these interactions. Like, forgetting that that's a two-part command.
<laughs> Just throw a pill in there. Let's see if I capture it. I'm not counting the giant one because that one isn't missable. Oh, what's happening to Taiku? <laughs> I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> I think I got killed by that uh, suction thing through the wall. Yeah, I, I knew which one you meant, this one. At first, honestly, I, the rules did confuse me a, a tiny, tiny bit, but... When I like thought about the progression of the cave in my head, I was like, oh god, they, they gotta mean the one that turns off those stupid fountains. <laughs> that would be an interesting run though. More people ended up joining. I did that too early. Oh, I still got him, sweet. I'm not really sure what I did last time, but we're just not going to do it this time. There it is. I knew it. I have some crazy luck with speed runs. I, um... I ran into a glitch the last time I was attempting this. Well... It was really early, though. It was during the, the tutorial. And basically... Teku, when he went for the, the very first pull-up you do in the game, it, um, it, like, duplicated him. One Teku was hanging from the ledge I grabbed, and I had another Teku I could control above him on the ledge where the fire is, where you ignite, the, like, the, the fire on the shaft. For lack of a better explanation. So that's two so far. I'm gonna make a little note of that. This will be with three, four, five. It was in my VOD yesterday. I'll have to clip it. It was really funny though because like I basically ended up in control of this second Teku and I walked off the ledge the the only hole in the tutorial and died <laughs> and it killed us both. It was very <laughs> very weird. Okay, so that was five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. That should be all of them, right? Two more up top. Where am I getting this eleventh one?
Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Maybe I counted the furnace. Or the gigantic one. Honestly, I don't know if I'm supposed to spam that or if I'm supposed to, like, pace it. The spamming works, but... The very, like, last bit of it definitely convinces me that I'm doing it wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 I didn't get that one, you're right. That's, that's the one I'm missing. Good eye. It's because I'm going to go back and get that one later when I, I get the, the green crystal. Perfect, so yeah. Alright. Just got the two by the, like, the symbol puzzle and then that one. So I'll write in 11 for blues. And then the city only has like three fires. There's the one right before the last puzzle. There's one missable in the actual city. And then there's one more in the save point in the temple. That should be it, right? Oof. Whoops. When you're too impatient, it's fine. It was all for the blacksmith. So for this next puzzle, I'm not actually sure how we're supposed to get the answer, to be honest. It's one of the ones I had to look up. Same thing with the windmills in the first area. Oh, well. Was it the windmills? I, I didn't know how to get the windmills, but I don't think I looked it up, actually. I think I got that just by straight hope and prayer. Wait, that's not what at all. Oh, it is, it is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go back, Taiko. Go back. <laughs> I always forget about the m mask. Because I remember wishing I could pick it up sooner. Taiko studied. And now even though I like have a really good idea when I can get it, which is just after you see your friend. I still managed to just forget it. Alright, this one's lit. Yeah. That's the only thing I will say it definitely sucks is seeing the fires is really difficult. I wish they were more of like a purple. Alright. So I'm going to just look at the wall. When he inserted his candle into the old artifact, a beam of light was projected on the great mural. There it was. But in the painting... Yeah, the one I'm about to do right now. Speak it up. 
Like, are you just supposed to count the objects in that painting? Because if so, that sounds like really difficult. their hats, okay. Interesting. I do really like that mural. I did like check it out quite a bit, but my brain was not registering that that was a puzzle. <laughs> I was like, this is a really cool wall that I, I busted my ass to see. Must be completely irrelevant. <laughs> I mean, like, logically thinking, yeah, it does make sense for sure. It was the same thing for me with the giant mushroom. I, I totally understood the logic that I belonged in the foundry. But I didn't really know why. my least favorite puzzle in the game. Not even really my least favorite. I, I think I rephrase, need to rephrase that. But definitely the hardest puzzle in my opinion. But I do like a challenge, so. I can't say I like hate it. Is there a way to tell wh which one is supposed to have which color? Am I missing something for that? Or... or am I just supposed to try? I mean, it's a 50-50. He couldn't just pull on Yeah, he can. Hurry up, hurry up. Mmm. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I love this dude's laugh. <laughs> I should be able to hit the drum while homie's laughing. I feel like he's laughing louder than the thunder. Just a little like, ha ha ha, and then like you're done. Hanging from the belt of the warrior, Teku could see a bunch of
almost forgot about that. <laughs> I was just sitting here like, uh huh. And then I seen the little indicator. I'm pretty sure the same thing happened on my first run. Shamacho's violence today. I think I feel worse for the dude that just got smashed in the foot than the guy who's like definitely dead that got landed on. <laughs> he didn't feel a thing. That other dude is gonna wake up and not have a foot. He has a whole situation ahead of him. I really like how much this mount is foreshadowed, mainly because I completely missed it my first playthrough. The Dai Wu, I'm pretty sure. More than sure, if I'm being honest, after like five plays. Oh, usually you can make that in the first one. Maybe it's only after a death you can make that right away. I usually don't slow down for that. This is a lot about my skills in that first area. Uh, damn. It would have worked that time, but I, I just panicked because of the first one and tried to stop. Alright. I need to stop forgetting about that hole, that's for sure. Pretty sure I could just walk off the ledge if I remember that I need to be down there. There's quite a few jumps before that that kind of like muscle memory you into I really don't want to fall and die right now. I really like that a lot of ledges are set up like that where if you're sprinting you will just catch the ledge. You do lose a little bit of time like that, but it's pretty reassuring. Wakcha had taken Yaka inside the temple. Teku had to find a way to activate the bridge again so he could cross. Alright. This next one I should have down to a science. This isn't the one I was talking about. The one after this, the bathtub, oh my. Uh, 
Alright, so first of all, the, the thing I always forget to do... Deal with that bird now. step of this puzzle definitely took me a minute. I just did not understand why... Wait, wait, wait. I'm early here. Whoops. But yeah, I just did not understand why that lock was there. I got it eventually, though. Absolutely didn't see that fall the first time. I noticed it in the tub and it, where it wasn't before, but I didn't see the animation of it swinging somehow. And I don't know, every time I play it again since, it just feels a little embarrassing. I'm like, how? Like, <laughs> you can't skip it, and it's like real dramatized. It kind of zooms in. That's the scene where I was like, wait, hang on a second, what the hell's in the tub? Why wasn't that in the tub when the tub was empty? <laughs> Alright. I'm not ready, but here we are. That's not the one I need over there. I need that one over there. Hang on, hang on. Right. <laughs> Thankfully, from the VODs I was seeing, it, it's pretty similar. So what you were doing. I first did this though, I started in the top right corner. 
But I definitely feel like the top left corner is easier. I try to just do the outside first in general. Alright, so now I just need to get that over here. I think that's in the right spot. Needs to get turned though. Alright, alright. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Ah. Uh... Get that one over here, though. Yeah, it sounds about right, from what I've seen. Which is honestly madness. In my any percent, I did it in, I think, like, I would say, like, two minutes, maybe three minutes. Which isn't, like, terribly slow, per se. But it's still, like, a minute slow. There we go, that's it, right? That's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Fucking hell. That, that was probably a little bit slower than my angry scent. Alright, um. Alright, get the egg. Get the soap. Or get the walnut. To get this over. I can't play Morris until I enter the temple, right? He's not gonna even give that as an option yet. Batman again? Yeah. Can't light this right now. So I think the only missable fire out here is right there, so I'll mark one for city. I'm, I can't really count the puzzle one since you're gonna light it and put it out a few times. It'd be a little silly to want it lit at the end. Do you? You might be right. That makes sense. And I do have to kind of like go over there anyway. Alright, I'm gonna turn the water on so I can be a little ahead of myself. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, good ol' Z axis. Alright. Teko, now we're not gonna do that, right? We're gonna take the staircase. Actually, I've never done that to myself until now. And if you missed those, big F. I'm so glad that I ended up doing them on my normal run.
because then I would have had to redo that puzzle pretty much like three times. Whoops. I tend to do that a lot, getting impatient. It's fine. Something to work on. I'll love it when I go for some PBs and I'm like, oh wow, okay, all this time save. Not hitting circle for no reason. Oh, I can just... What is this time save? Wait! Do I even need the door at all? Huh. So for any percent, I could just, like, jump straight up here, huh? Interesting. Also, did I just get the last trophy in the game? The only thing I was missing is to get attacked by the mama bird. I thought it had to be during, um... During trying to take an egg. Oh, a second ago, I don't know if you caught it. I was standing on the bridge and I jumped straight to the gong. I didn't know that was possible. Alright, so uh, this is for the trader. I'll try to do it again in a sec. That would save a lot of time. That shouldn't be possible. Oh. I think we just found a new strat. I just did it again. Ah, uh, so. Right? I mean, it doesn't save too much time. It saves you two ladder climbs, from my understanding. When you go to bring the walnut, and when you get this, uh, and, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> But, I mean, both of the ladders probably good like 40 seconds. Maybe it'll last 30. The ladder animation is kind of long. Alright, now that I got that. Hey, it's working! It's not some. Oh, 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 right, right, okay. I mean, it's really nice when you think about the gems. If only I could remember to put the gems down first. <laughs> ah, the beauty of new people starting the speedrunner game. Not gonna lie, I didn't watch either of the runs on the board in full. I sort of skimmed. I watched them when I needed like some help with stuff. I just like had no idea what the progression was a couple of times. And to see like how you handled certain puzzles like the the pipes and the windmills. I'm sure there's a couple of things that I'm not aware of either.
Oh, oh for sure. Like, I've noticed a lot of the sneak sections. There's a very small section where you can sprint, and then you gotta start sneaking. Even though it kind of freaks me out, I noticed you can do that in, um, in the area with the wood bridge and the leaf. You can sprint up to the ladder, just about. But I'm usually just like, oh, I'll just, uh, tiptoe the whole way, it's fine. This section would be so much cooler on a dance pad or like on VR. Be like, Choco. <laughs> I mean, I guess a dance pad wouldn't register your arms, unfortunate. You need like omnidirectional punching bags. Uh, uh, up, up. Sorry, guys, I, I have. Made your AGHG. -E. Can't even speak. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that was up, huh? <laughs> I'm like, listen, guys, it's not that I'm not a cultist and I don't believe in our cause. I just can't stay focused for more than five seconds. Don't judge me. We have a very long initiation sequence for no reason. I think we could just trim it up like two or three moves. guy just starts making it rain <laughs> and splat all right wait 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 i need to go get some fire first of all first and foremost i want to see though if just entering the temple is enough to play the game. I'm not exactly on like a master pace right now, so. No, it's not. Damn, okay. Yeah, I do gotta interact with the thing. It's weird, because I didn't think I went in there on my like, on my original playthrough. Or, um, maybe I'm thinking of my speedrun. Because I, I definitely did go up there on my original playthrough. I got kind of stuck here. Taiku, no, we're not saving. Right, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I, I might as well get it. Just so I don't forget it. And while I'm at it, I'll interact with this thing. Then Teku found him. The huge creature Tesca towered over him on a great throne. Peals of laughter echoed throughout the temple. He appeared to have lost his mind. You say what you will about Tesca. They got a really good taste in crowns. I mean, that color scheme, though. Oh, 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 oh. oh, cause I'm on console. I'm not able to get one on console. Oh, big. Oof. I didn't save any of that. Tempted to do the dungeon first now, but you know, I'm committing. Especially cause of the little cutscene. 
I just need to not fall on that little ledge. <laughs> the huge creature, Tesca. If I could, though, I would. Him on a great throne. Peals of laughter echoed throughout the temple. But um, yeah, I just go f mostly for games that go real time for that reason. Which is one of the things that drew me to this game. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a compulsive speedrunner. I've speedrun like 30 something games now. So, one of the factors when I'm looking at games to get is if I'm gonna speedrun it. Cause it gives me a lot of like, life out of a game, you know? Like I feel like to most people this is probably like, a one or two day game. Never gonna play it again. Get like, you know, seven, eight hours out of it. But if I can speed run it, then I mean, I can play it like a dozen times and get like three hours out of it each time. Or whatever, you know? I mean, I'm sure you get it. <laughs> Plus, it was already like my type of game with like platforming, puzzling. There are a couple games I play that use live splits and I just play them just for fun though. Like Assassin's Creed, I think it's just fun to do them because they're such endurance runs. They run like four to six hours. But, um, yeah, not having a live split, I mean, kind of puts me at a disadvantage, but there's still, like, just not many people even doing those games, so I feel like just completing is its own accomplishment. Oh, no, oh, no. Did I mess this up? Get back in the base. 200 hours a kid? Oh, whoa. Nice. That's pretty wild. I would say I'm probably pushing my first day playing Candle. So like I said, I probably put like six to eight hours on my first VOD. And then my first day of speedrunning was probably like five hours, four or five hours. And then yesterday, Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of yesterday. F, 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 the, the fucking fire. No, what are you, what are you doing, Deku? Damn it. Damn it. Alright, this time I am not forgetting. I really like this puzzle too. <laughs> oh, you're fun. I honestly think it more has to do with the fact that I'm too comfortable in this area. I haven't failed in the prison before. My speedruns like to do that. Remind me to humble. They're like, oh yeah, so you, you did the, the pipe game with relative ease. Definitely could have been worse. But, um, you know that section that like you've like literally never had any trouble with like since you first laid eyes on it? Well, this is your moment. Alright, this right here I had to look up, but the spear, I understood the stick bit, that came to me immediately, I was like, aha, I've been waiting for this, because <laughs> I went up first, 
Oh, okay. Oh yeah, welcome in Kapoor. Hope things are going well. The pressure is on too. Got a fellow candle runner in the chat. I first tried this puzzle, I feel proud of myself. I love the Wilhelm scream there. <laughs> that is exactly how he should feel. I mean, I totally like Assassin's Creed that man. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. I don't have water, do I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. The shreds have been pretty decent. Let's see, um... I haven't done the, the Morris game yet. But I'm about on pace with my last run. Like, this is looking like an hour 40 right now. I still got the Morris game. I gotta knock out a few people. And there's probably like another five minutes to the run. Oh, I gotta get fire, okay. I've only ever played this game digitally. It's kind of surreal to me. I'm like, does this game really exist? I've also played it in the Assassin's Creed series. It's in three. Oh yeah, I appreciate you popping in. Hope you sleep well. Oh yeah, it'll be on YouTube. No pressure to catch it now. going <laughs> hell yeah good to hear it I feel the same way I moderate this game called uh, kingdom new lands and somebody recently started beating my world records in that game and I'm like oh shit okay I'm like I'm actually really excited about that it, it's it's uh, it's a bit conflicting cuz I'm like damn I mean I haven't played the game in a while but uh you know at least I have a reason to like, get back into it all right this this could get really ugly I think it just got ugly wait no it's fine it's fine it's fine I wish there were an easier way for me to set up windmills. Usually there is. So just putting one back and forth like that. It's fine though. For, for the sake of finishing this game, it'll do. They're kind of SOL.
Hell yeah. Um, in like an hour, give or take, I'm gonna be jumping back on with some Cuphead. We're gonna be playing co-op with Shmokaloka. Yeah, there is gonna be some more speed runs, but she is still pretty new to the game, so it'll, it'll totally just be like peeping. We'll see where we go from there. I got the water, and I didn't get the water. Bad donut, bad. <laughs> I, did it tell me on the, the item description? No, it, yeah, it doesn't have water, okay. Wait, why can't I get the water? Is there a reason I can't pick up the water right now? Is it because the, the, the fire thing is also on? I mean, that'd be really strange technicality. We'll try it. Oh, I got about didn't bug the game? Maybe I already have water? I'm gonna try one more thing and I'm gonna assume I already have water. I thought I picked it up. Alright, maybe I do. Maybe I'm just freaking out. Maybe. The item description still alludes to the idea that I don't have water. But I could have swore I did get it. So we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of scared. It would not be the first time I've uh, totally dropped the ball to run because of some weird glitch that I've never heard of. Woo! Lucky me! Okay, we're still in the clear. I mean, maybe not lucky me, I did waste some time there, freaking out, but it's weird. Gotta start somewhere. I love how this dude just gets tied to his staff, even though he's like, a lethal weapon. He's like, aha, thanks for freeing me. <laughs> like, get this guy far away from that staff. This is Rafiki here. I mean, did they forget about the fact that he was holding off like four guards with that staff earlier? You broke Tom's whole foot in one swing. Oh, I can get closer? Alright, good to know. I honestly thought so. But, that's one of those rooms I was talking about where I'm paranoid about the stealth. I'll keep that in mind when I rerun these runs, though. One thing I really like about this game is that it's pretty easy to cheat sheet. I read a whole bunch of stuff down. <laughs> There's only like item locations to really try to remember. There's a few puzzles you can't cheat sheet though. Like the, the slider, the man's Morris. Yaka waited. I heard a uh, ten a uh, nine penny Merle or something like that for a name, and I think that sounds cooler to call them pennies. Be like, God oh, dang, you took a penny from me. Imagine actually playing for pennies. Wait, wait, wait this way, this way. Mm. 
missing. I thought I was missing that. Wait, this is not lit. Am I freaking out, or is that candle not lit? Doesn't look lit. It's not lit. Hold up. I must have died or something. Hmm. Damn it. Oh, I didn't end up reloading it? Gotcha. Or maybe I- yeah, I didn't write it at all. So I didn't have it at first, and then when I went back for fire, I was just like, yeah. About that. That's good though. You actually, like, literally need fire during the last puzzle. Wait, hand, hand. I guess I should- yeah, yeah, that's right, I need to- Almost forgot! Get all overexcited here. I actually discovered the solution a different way. I don't know if you know this. I mean, you, maybe you do. You've played the game enough, right? But if you didn't, I'd be pretty excited to teach you something here. The board he's resting his head on has the solution on it. You can't see it during the puzzle, so I, I did die like twice having to look at it a second time because I, I messed something up. And then when I got it right the first time, I didn't have a candle lit. <laughs> Feels bad. Nailed it. Dude, it's done. Hurry what? It's over. Relax, shaman. Sound like you're doing a speed run. Alright, and that should be Finn. Like an hour fifty. Not too bad. I expect it to be a little longer than the any percent not too much longer either. I know a lot of it was just silliness. Makes me feel a little better about my any percent. 